Besides audio, there's another class of signals that flow through logic, and these are control signals. The controllers are the different types of tools that we can employ to turn the knobs, to move the faders, to select things from the menus in the ES2. So let's take a look at the control signals. Internally, they originate right here in this area where we have our LFOs and our envelope generators. And then they get mapped via the router, which you'll see later, to all these knobs and buttons. There are five internal modulators. We have two LFOs here on the left and three envelope generators. Now down below here, we can select between six external controllers, A through F. Just click on MIDI and they appear. These external controllers are the knobs, faders, joysticks, ribbons, whatever you have connected up to the physical input or the computer that is running logic. Now this area here is called the router. It's the crossroads where all the modulators and controllers are mapped to the synthesizer section to manipulate the sound in ways you couldn't do with just two hands. So all of these internal modulators and external controller assignments become sources in the modulation router. But before you can pick a source, you've got to pick your targets. And once the targets are assigned, then, well, you can use LFO1 as source in router number 2, or use LFO2 as a source in router number 10. And you can pick all kinds of different controllers and modulators from all kinds of different places to become your sources. But before you can do that, we have to talk about the targets, because you have to set the targets first. So let's look at some targets. Each of the 10 routers has its own source menu, and it has its target menu. The target menu is a list of everything that you can send a controller or modulator to on the ES2. There's a lot of them, you know, like oscillator pitch or filter cutoff or even attack times. And every one of these targets refers to a specific place on the interface. For instance, you can pick pitch number one, and that controls the pitch of oscillator number one. Pick a router, pick a target, and then pick a controller. You can have as many targets as you have routers. That means you can have 10 different targets, which also means you can have 10 different modulators or controllers being routed to those targets. So you have targets and you have sources. It's kind of like making a connection between one thing and another. You have your sources, which are your modulators and controllers, and those sources are being sent or connected to targets. Targets, sources, and you have control over how much of that source gets to the target by grabbing these little green triangular faders and moving them up and down. So every router must have a source and a target. And you can control how much of the source gets to the target with the little green triangular fader. You think about what parameter you want to control, and then you decide how to control it. My assistant Igor has been practicing hitting targets. Hey, Igor, hit a target. Oh, Igor.